fantastic news because DCS World has just been updated and it works now out of the box with the DK2 without having to uh, stop any processes or fiddle around. You just have to make sure that your DK2 is set to your primary monitor and then select the Oculus Rift Detect option in the menu and you're away to go. Now I'm jumping into the UH1 Huey for the first time. I've set up my Hotas Warthog as well as the Logitech G25 Throttle and Clutch. Uh, so hopefully we've got all the controls required to uh, pilot this beast of an aircraft without plummeting headfirst into the ground, although it's somewhat inevitable. Thankfully, uh, DCS World has a god mode, which will probably come in handy. But we're going to give this a go. We're on the runway. Just going to pop the headset on. Once you're in game with your DK2, it's number five on the number pad to reset the uh, the view. You'll find when you first load in your your cameras in your groin or region. Of course, that's no use for flying a helicopter. Onto the controls. There we go. Now I've got this set up so that my left throttle is the. Uh, I'm going to get the names wrong. I think it's a cyclic, which is the angle of attack of the blades on the rotors, which controls the sort of up and down. And then the right throttle, which is all the way forwards, controls the helicopter's RPM. Now, on modern helicopters, they normally have a, uh, an automatic RPM control mode. I'm not sure if this has got it. Uh, all I know is if I turn the RPM down... Ooh, not what's going on there. Let's reset the camera again because we're floating all over the place. There we go. If I, ret if I turn the RPM down, you can see it down here. You see the RPM, there you go, the RPM goes down, I get a warning that says uh, RPM too low. So I'll put that back up, leave that on full, that's nice and safe there with a nice high RPM. I don't know why there's a circus tent at the end of the runway, but you know, um, that's how things were done in the 70s. I've got to entertain the, the pilots. This helicopter, of course, used in the Vietnam War. Hand hold, that's in case you get nervous and uh, you need to feel security. But just look at the details. It's absolutely. I'm going to start headbutting my microphone because you really don't have to look around. Unfortunately, the DK2 resolution isn't quite high enough to be able to see dials and stuff unless you literally stick your head right in. Let's stick my head right in here. But once you stick your head in, you can see the dials. Um, I'm pretty sure with the consumer version of the Oculus Rift, you'll be able to see everything just fine. But as it is now on the DK2, it's more just a, an overall experience, but it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, DCS is one of the top games for the Oculus Rift. Um, just look at this cabin and the glass. You can see bits of dirt on, on the window of the Huey. It's just spectacular. The different tint of glass on the ceiling. Uh, is You can you know it's tint in the sky. And I can see the helicopter blades above me. I've not even taken off yet. DCS is just incredible with the uh, DK2. Now let's go. Unfortunately with the with the foot pedals uh, I get a bit of jitter on my clutch. I'm not sure why. I fiddled around with it but I couldn't get it to work properly so we're just gonna have to try and uh, navigate around that. Let's just pretend we've been shot by, uh, by a Vietnamese Viet Cong soldier and uh, we've got some technical issues but off we go with the takeoff. Here we go. Um, Without further ado, I'm a little bit worried that this isn't going to go to plan, but we'll roll with it. There we go. I really want to counter the... Oh, we're off. Whoa. <laughs> feel like I'm in a lunar land. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Now, the... For the helicopters, I think a controller that's... Oh, that's a really dodgy takeoff. I think it'd be easier if it's a, if you had a controller that had force feedback and was a lot looser around the centre. The Hotas Warthog is really nice. It, and it feels awesome because it's really metal and solid in construction. But for helicopters, uh, I find it a little bit... Uh, it's got quite a big centre on it. But once you move away from the centre, it's perfectly fine. It's got this sort of like lump in the centre, which I find really difficult. But I'm sure... It's largely because I'm an absolute noob. But look at this! <laughs> you can see the runway. Let's just fly around the uh, aeroplanes and admire them. I really feel like I'm high up. And what's awesome with a helicopter is because it's got glass all over it, you can 
you know, you can look down below and see the uh, the floor through the bottom of the helicopter. And the, the joystick or the uh, the controls in the helicopter just oh, it just looks fantastic. Let's drop a bit of height. I'm gonna. There's another helicopter down there. Let's let's go and have a look. Let's have a peek. Let's let's lose some altitude. All the uh, dials and details in this. I mean, they're so fantastically modelled, and DCS, in and of itself, you know, if you're playing with track IR on a normal monitor, it's an absolutely fantastic combat simulator. If not, the best. I <laughs> seem to be flopping around quite a lot. Definitely need to learn how to fly a helicopter properly. Let's rotate with the uh, with the yaw controls. There we go. Whoa. No. Oh, around here. Just gonna fly past the airport, stuff in the airport, and have a look at all the uh, vehicles. I think I definitely need to work on my technique because I'm flopping around all over the place. Maybe it's windy, although it's probably like mostly because I can't fly. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's incredible. I need one. Of those, I need a little bit of string on the front of the uh, cockpit so I know which direction the wind's blowing. I'm gonna pa fly past the buzz of these uh, aircrafts here. This is really, really, really spectacular. Oh, <laughs> it's really weird because the the detail's not quite there, and you know the, the frame rate's not absolutely perfect. But you get these moments of of your brain thinking, "Oh, this is this is real." Little split second moments, and then you sort of then you're reminded it's a game by you know it not running completely perfect and the graphics not being perfect. But you get fleeting moments of your brain just going, "What is going on? You're in a helicopter." Handhold. <laughs> this is fantastic. Really, really fantastic. It's a shame that this uh, the helicopter is quite expensive to buy in DCS. Uh, I picked up in the cell just recently. Oh, he's taxiing along. Let's follow this guy. I picked this up for six quid, in which case is a definite bargain, especially if you're more of a sort of casual flyer such as myself. But if you're... Oh! <laughs> whoa, 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 what is going on? Don't know what that's about. Totally lost uh, lift there for some reason. Don't know got a lot of learning to do if you're a casual flyer then it's caught then this is really expensive if you you know if you're gonna play this fully and go through all the missions and play it as a sim then it's, a, it's an absolute bargain um, I'm sure they'll do another sale soon but just the detail is absolutely incredible in this just the, the cabin detail the environmental detail is not the best but you know what when you're playing a flight simulator I think you spend most of the time looking at the cabin rather than the environment <laughs> spinning all over the place. I'm trying to trying to fly this nice and sexy, but it's not it's not happening. Wonder what's causing this. If it's if it's wind or if it's just uh, my neptune. If I keep flying forwards, the uh, helicopter stabilises itself. So I'll keep moving in one direction. Nice and simple. It's like a biohazard tent there. Is he going to take off? I'm not sure. <laughs> it feels so good. It just feels nice flying a helicopter around. I'm not doing anything. I want to see if he takes off. I don't know what he's doing. Come on, Bob. Look at his lights lighting up the uh, the runway. Now, I'll tell you what would be awesome. If they get this working, if they get DK2 support and take on helicopters, or even if DCS did a sort of uh, more of a civilian helicopter flying game where it was more about rescuing people you know dropping people down a, a zip line and uh, picking up people off cliffs and stuff that would be fantastic with the DK2 and even just little missions like pick up objects you know sort of maybe a more arcadey helicopter game that'd be really nice um, but yeah the, all the buttons in the cockpit work let's uh, grab a hold of the mouse I'm gonna headbutt my table um, you know all the buttons work. I'm not sure what does what, so I don't really want to click on anything because one of them might be the off button. In which case, it'll be a veritable disaster. 
Well, let's do it anyway. Let's click the buttons. I think we're pretty much done for this. This is really... Uh, I just wanted to let everyone know that DCS now works without you having to mess around uh, with settings so much. Uh, so it's more seamless. Uh, and, and as I said, DCS is one of the top DK2 experiences you can have really right now. Let's uh, let's play... Let's let's push some buttons. Let's do... I'm using my mouse with my left hand and my <laughs> flying with the right. Let's see what this one does. Off. Uh, something's lit up on the dashboard. Oh, that was the off button. We're going to have to do a uh, auto rotation here. Oh, oh. No. And dead. Well, that's how you uh, die in a helicopter. But, nonetheless, <laughs> that was uh, that was fun as, I, as I'm upside down in a meadow. Uh, really, really worth uh, spending some time on it, I think. Uh, DCS, of course, absolutely fantastic in and of its in and of itself. If you like simulators, even if you're just playing on a screen with a track IR, probably a better way to play it as of right now until the resolution of the consumer version of the DK, uh, of the consumer version of the Oculus Rift comes out. But nonetheless, absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching this video. Um, subscribe to it if you enjoy it. Check out my other videos and uh, like this video as well. Thank you and goodbye.